Well, hello there, Jelly Beans. How you doing? It is a rare appearance from me. <laughs> um, it is a hot Saturday. I think it's going to be 105 today, so <laughs> happy spring. <laughs> now, I know, somehow I know that Nana's been talking to you about our car stuff, and we're both very excited about it. Um, I am thinking I may have found the car last night, finally. But let's see. Let me catch you up on the stuff. Okay. We last left, when, when you, we left you last, uh, we were waiting for the guy to come and take the car for the second emissions test. In other words, the emissions retest. Okay, so... That was Wednesday. So Thursday morning he came at 9 and took it. And he was back by like an hour later. <clears throat> I thought, oh no, that's too soon. Something happened. Opened the door. <laughs> I was like, did we pass? And he goes, yeah. And I go, yay, we passed. <laughs> Andy is good good to go. So, now I have to decide what to do with them. Contacted <clears throat> those people about the um, taking it for you to auction it. Sent them, had to fill out a little form online and to see if they would accept it because it's a, they don't usually accept cars over 29, which old. means he's 28. <laughs> uh, they I got an email back from them, and I just laughed, because they're obviously kind of stupid. Well, no, I guess I just didn't really want to, uh, it wasn't a sure thing, so they, they rejected the car. <laughs> the reason they gave was, we don't think, we're not sure that your car would get a minimum of $400 at auction. <laughs> Anybody takes one look at that car, and they're going to, it's, you know, it, it would easily get several thousand dollars. And I'm not just saying that as a proud mom. I just, you know, I know. I mean, I looked up the value of it for one thing, and it's certainly worth a hell of a lot more than 400 bucks. So, that's a shame, because that would have been so convenient. <laughs> okay, so I considered many different types of cars. And actually the way I got thinking about this was um, every year when the emissions comes up I always get all ticked off that I have to do it because it's such a pain in the butt. It's just ridiculous. And I, every time I have to put gas in the car I get all ticked off because that's a pain in the butt too. Um, I absolutely detest having to go to the stupid gas station which is out of my way. It is not on my way to work. And it's just a whole major pain and you have to drive in the heat in the oh blah I can't stand it um, and all this any type of car maintenance stuff just irks me no end because it's extra money and it's it just seems really stupid you know having to take, take care of the baby well the baby is supposed to be a convenience and th this is not convenient so that's how I started thinking about something else. That's why I started thinking about electric. Low maintenance, you know, any maintenance it needs I can do just at home. I don't have to take it to some guy who's going to maybe loosen up a few things that aren't supposed to be loosened up just so we can make a little more money, you know, all this garbage associated with internal combustion engines. So, okay. <clears throat> First I thought, Segway is kind of interesting, but then I decided against that because you're just not at all protected. Um, you know, it's okay for you to ride it around on the sidewalk, but once you get out there in traffic, like crossing intersections, there you, you have no protection and most part, you know, you're not very visible. I have one of those orange and yellow striped vests, but still, you're not very visible. 
and if you know if it rains and you drown and <laughs> it's just not a good idea so eh, on that forget about motorcycles and scooters don't like two wheel junk not good balance not safe again not enough protection around you just need something kind of enclosed so um start thinking about electric cars because it turns out that they're more advanced and you know they're really starting to become more feasible so I looked at the Zen which is very nice um, it's completely enclosed it's four wheels it's a low speed vehicle meaning it only goes up to 25 it has air conditioning which is uh, very nice um, but it's kind of pricey really kind of pricey they start at about fifteen thousand dollars so and figure if I can maybe get ten thousand for the Lincoln I'm still gonna have to pay another five thousand or six thousand even with taxes and all that stuff for the Zen and that's just more than I want to pay yeah maybe I could finance it but I hate that you know financing is I don't like that I have plenty of bills t too many monthly bills as it is okay <laughs> So, eh, okay. So I want something I can pay cash for and then not worry about it, uh, which is what I do with Andy. I pay cash for him, uh, which I think was one of the best things I've done. <laughs> um, so the Zen is too much. Sparrow I looked at ridiculously small. There's no place for anything. You have to get outside to change your mind. Way too small and also hard to find. Um, Zen, no. Sparrow, no. Zap is a whole other enchilada because Zap Zebra, they have Zap Smart Car, which is like 18,000 bucks. <laughs> Forget it. But they also have the smaller three wheelers that are the Zebra line. They have a Zebra sedan and they have a Zebra pickup truck. The sedan, eh, too small. The pickup truck, kind of cool. No AC, but not too bad. Um, a little cheaper than the Zen, but here's the, the, the rub. Three wheels. Okay, in Arizona, anything three-wheeled is considered a motorcycle. You have to register it like a motorcycle, which means you have to take extra, like, a, you have to take a written test and a road test and if you don't want to do that then there's a course you can sign up for for three days for 250 bucks where they teach you all about safety issues in riding a two-wheeler well what the hell <laughs> you know it's like I'm not gonna have a two-wheeler I don't need to know this stuff I need just for a three-wheeler in other words a trike you know that's not covered you know so there's this big gap in like training and safety and stuff so that's ridiculous so eh, forget anything with three wheels um, so oh what else did I find I found a tango which has actually not been produced yet they're just basically it will be this and it will be that um, that's I don't think I would get it anyway it's super narrow and you actually see it's a two-seater but you don't sit side by side you sit the driver sits behind no <laughs> that would be really cool how do they do that the passenger sits behind the driver like on a motorcycle but it's like a motorcycle with with doors um, and I think it's supposed to be pretty high speed and I guess pretty expensive um, and then was there was the um, the IT I forget who makes that one which is pretty similar to the Zen, I think. Um, so, nah. 